Happy Father's Day. It is Python on hardware time. Okay. The big news this week is there's a new version of MicroPython. Yeah. So, Lady, what's the, you know, we add the stuff that's in MicroPython to CircuitPython. Uh, what's the latest? Okay, so MicroPython 119, and don't forget, we are keeping up with MicroPython. We are merging in their changes, and so uh, this change will come to CircuitPython uh, sooner rather than later, uh, although I don't know exactly when, maybe um, when we get to 8 stable in CircuitPython. Um, but basically, the MPY format has been updated, and um, I think it's like a little bit more compressed, which is good, uses less space, but also, um, like it can be executed directly from like the end of the flash memory, so, uh, historically, if you wanted to freeze in um, a library, like you have to compile it into code and, and there would be some linking process. Um, but now you should be able to just like take the MPY and like append it to the firmware, um, like literally in Flash. And then you like you can add as many libraries you want to freeze in, which I think is a really cool and interesting idea um, that could be very useful for uh, CircuitPython as well. We might, you know, we might end up with some sort of like dynamic firmware generator um, because a lot of people um, want to save RAM. You can save a lot of RAM by loading MPY, uh, sorry, by uh, saving your MPY files not to the disk but to firmware uh, because you can execute directly from the firmware file. So uh, all good stuff, basically, you know, making uh, frozen, I mean, there's a lot of bug fixes. I think Renaissance po post um, port uh, to, the, to the microcontrollers, which is uh, interesting for folks who love uh, Japanese automotive microcontrollers. Um, but the big changes, I think, are this uh, MPY update. Okay. Um, you can check our collection of articles, including articles about CircuitPython. Hackster has an article on CircuitPython 8. It's our new version. It's alpha. It's what we're working on. And uh, last week, we talked about the poster. Thank you, Espressif, for allowing us to have uh, Blinka Espressifies herself. I think it's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's a perfect fit. Um, Python cheat sheets, projects, and more. Um, Cube is kind of neat. Uh, Toddbot has been on a roll. If you haven't already, uh, one of the things I like about Todd's projects is Todd can squeeze the code basically into a tweet or very close to. And yeah. you know, Twitter's coming out with a notes feature. Um, What's that? Well, it's it's basically like if you want more than 150 characters. So. You, but why not just take screenshots of your notepad? Yeah. No. They're it's ba they're you know I think they're making medium inside of uh, Twitter. Yeah. So anyways. Um, so I would look forward to what Todd's going to do with that, but um, it's always neat to see um, the projects because uh, Todd does open source and posts up these bits of code, and this uh, cube was fun to kind of watch and evolve over the socials. Um, and then uh, you can check out some of the projects using CircuitPython, not even our hardware. That's what's cool about it. Yes, Pymer only has some cool badges. That's right. Come out. And uh, anyways, and you can check out New things RP2040 like RP2040 boards with a CircuitPython uh, pinout diagram again um what we like to do is build things so other people can build stuff um you know it's always nice to buy some adafruit stuff but we also like to see businesses thrive so you could check out all the different circuit python based hardware even ones that doesn't come from adafruit that's fine in the latest newsletter we deliver it every single week you could check that out on adafruitdaily.com and uh, we have a completely separate site. Don't spam. Don't harvest emails. It's just for newsletters, not connected to your store account at all. That's how tenacious we are about protecting your privacy. Do you want to play like the horn effect or something, or this the twinkle effect? Um, yeah. So I have the soundboard thing, and uh, yeah. uh, here I'll do the applause. You know, we will never spam you. No idea if that works or not, but we'll find out. When we watch the... Uh... Yeah, I think it worked.